Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading that is destined to the beautiful sign of Aries. My dear friend Aries, this is your reading with angels. So um, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So it is very important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to contact me, I put pretty much all the information you might need right below into the YouTube description box. So please do not hesitate to contact me and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it was always very um, appreciated and I am very grateful. So I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. It's a very important reading. This is a channeled reading with your angel. Now your angel wants to give you some very important messages. So let's go see these urgent messages coming from your angels. We have self-care, self-reflection, you already know, and you are loved. So let's begin all the way up here with the self-care. You need to make sure right now that you are not giving to the point of creating lack into your own life. You feel compassion for the world because of your divine mission. But as a result, you sometimes become generous, but to a point that it might become a fault. You may not see this as a problem. However, this message is telling you that you must be aware of your own needs in this life. Please make sure that you are doing enough for yourself so that you don't suffer due to your generosity. You need to allow yourself to feel how great it is to have your needs met and trust that those around you, well, they are guided by their angels to ensure that all of theirs are also taken care of. So you are here on earth to help, but you are not everyone's problem solver. The greatest gift that you can give others is to simply ask their angels to awaken and to guide them to their unique purpose. Following up with some self-reflection, the angels are asking you to review your life. The angels guide you to see yourself as a spiritual warrior that you truly are. It is so easy to look back on your actions and to feel guilt for things that you've done to upset others. But that time has passed and you don't need to bring that energy with you going on forward. You must see yourself as a divine soul who's doing the absolute best that you can. Given, of course, the circumstances of your existence right now and you are designed to fight. You're designed to fight against that which no longer serves humanity and this requires nothing more than you being yourself. You need to admit what's most important to you and you need to ask the angels to guide you to these goals and these wishes. Following through with you already know. This message, ironically, comes to you when the answer is really something that you already know, but you are denying or maybe that you require some kind of confirmation of. Now, in this circumstance, the angels, they are saying to you that you have the answer and you also know exactly what to do to move forward. This message here is asking you to trust yourself. Not only yourself, but you need to trust into the divine order of the universe. And you must do what is best for you. Only good can come from listening to your guidance and only good can come from trusting your own and personal 
intuition. And we have you are loved. Everyone is in your life for a very specific reason. This message by your angel is asking you to realize that. But deep down, people truly do care about you and they want you to succeed. Sometimes it's about stepping into that anger when, you know, we kind of feel as though if people are trying to control us, you must know that this time in your life is very temporary. And before you know it, you are going to be making your own rules. And it's okay to go along with what others say, as long as you feel that their rules are based in love and in pure wisdom. So you must detach for a moment. You must allow yourself to see the situation, but through other people's motivations. The angels, they love they respect you unconditionally and they are always on your side because you are loved. So we spoke about some self-care. We spoke about you being loved, some self-reflection. You already know and we have another message here which is all about opportunity. We all, we are all presented with opportunity and um, unexpected to flow, we're expected to flow with the current that kind of comes into our way. Receiving this angel message is suggesting that something is now being made available to you and it is up to you to use it to your greatest advantage. Now, please be alert, be aware and be prepared. You can, of course, make your own opportunities. And if you knock on enough doors, one is inevitably going to open up to you. So you are also reminded right now to persevere. For it may be that a door which was previously locked has now been opened, but maybe just a crack. So you need to quieten your mind and you need to ask the angels right now to help you. As an affirmation, tell yourself, ask yourself and repeat it that I am ready for all opportunities that come my way. And this does conclude your beautiful reading with your messages, uh, with your angels. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some um, information that you'll be able to uh, use. If you do have any questions, you would like to contact me please do so. All my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful and a blessed day. I thank you for being there and I'll see you tomorrow with a new message.